Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, we are back with a Bounty of One. And you can probably tell from my voice, but I'm not feeling too well today. However, I was determined to get this video up for you guys. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump straight into a challenge. Now, I don't believe this one has been posted in any YouTube comments. And if it has, I do apologize and I'll credit you in a future video. But I was quite surprised that we've not done a run where we only take upgrades and we ignore all chests. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to jump in and we're going to try and get a run over the line where we can only take upgrades and we have to ignore any object that comes from a chest. We can pick up the chest. We can see what we could potentially have, but we have to completely ignore anything that is in it. Now, in terms of character, I quite like the mystery of just playing a random character. So we're going to leave that down to the computer, jump in at infamy level 10, and let's see if we can get this one over the line. Okay, so, oh, okay, interesting. So we've got Roger, which means that we get more options when it comes to selecting upgrades. But as, as we've said before, um, we can't take a single object. So that is what we're gonna do. Um, I like early attack speed. Let's see how we get on here. Okay, nice. Um, apologies if you hear any kind of break in my commentary. It's probably because I've had a coughing fit and I've had to completely edit it out. Um, so yeah, so apologies for that in advance. Let's take you down. Okay. I mean, we get more op options when it comes to Roger anyway. But I think we'll take this and we get even more options now. So when it comes to upgrades, we're pretty well set. When it comes to upgrades and the option for upgrades, we're pretty nicely set here. Now, we're going to have these deputies pop up. And obviously, when we take them down, they're going to give us a chest. But we can't take anything from the chests. Um, do I want anything here? Maybe I'll re-roll this. Ooh. Now, the one thing about Roger is you start with four health. So I'm actually going to pick up some extra health here. Most of the other characters start with 6-6, six, six, but Roger starts with the 4-4. The four, four. So taking the health there is pretty nice. Now we have to just ignore all of these, so we we'll skip the choices. It's pretty sad that we have to skip, but it is what it is. That is the challenge. That is, Ultimately, that is the challenge. We can only take those upgrades. I'm just going to keep taking attack speed for now. I think it's it's pretty nice. I think the attack speed is going to be that and damage is going to be what gets us through. So I'm going to have to pick up some damage at some point or maybe some piercing. Like we just need some crowd control. Like the error effect's not really going to help us. I'll take the extra movement speed. Movement speed is pretty nice. And hmm, what do we take here? I think I'll take the critical damage. And we can push crit then. So we can take extra damage, but we'll push the crit. I quite like this deputy because it chases you. But um, as we've said already, I mean, it's going to drop a chest and we just have to have the disappointment of not being able to take anything from it. Let's just grab it. Let's get it off the map. We'll skip you. I mean, there's some really nice stuff in here. So many options as well. Um, but yeah, you've got to go. And look at that attack speed. Actually, that works really well. Let's dash. Now, bounce is an option. Um, bounce could be... Yeah, we'll take the bounce. Bounce could be one way in which we help with the crowd control. Because we've got a good attack speed, right? Like, piercing would be nice, but bounce will work for now. And I'll tell you what we could do with more damage. <laughs> more, da more damage is the answer to everything, honestly. Um, that's a lot of coinage, though. Okay, I didn't mean to take the critical the critical hit there. I meant to take the damage. I didn't tap right quick enough. Uh, more attack speed. We'll take this. Already, my fuzzy brain is um, causing me to make mistakes. Maybe that's just another part of the challenge, right? Doing this when you're not feeling too well. Um, okay, we'll take the extra damage here. Dodge you. Nice. I mean, the extra crit is not the worst in the world because... I mean, we're going to push the crit damage later on anyway, so just taking the damage would have been much better. Ooh, a mythic. No way. Increase your chance of doing critical damage. That's so good. Now, 
if you're looking at this and you've never seen one of these before, you actually need to have the super black market to give yourself the opportunity of finding these as an upgrade. You can upgrade to them using, um, I don't know what it's called, but like there's a, there's a role where it upgrades everything that you see here. Um, but in terms of actually finding it just straight up as an upgrade, this this is um, this is a super black market um, purchase that I've got. So yeah, this is pretty nice. An extra twenty five crit that takes us to thirty five already. That's kind of kind of crazy. That puts us in such a good position. I mean, there's an object in the game that adds 40, 40% 40 crit chance, and you can't add any further crit chance from there. We've just added 25 with one upgrade. That's so good. Look at all of this as well. Okay, the damage is nice. I'm going to take this because we've now got 35% crit. Okay, we took a hit there. That was completely unnecessary to take that hit. Let's grab all of this. Okay, attack speed is so good. The damage is pretty nice off the crit as well. We're in a good position. Considering we're not able to take any any objects, upgrades are going to do it for us. Upgrades are going to do it for us. I can see it now. More bounces. I'm not opposed to more bounces. We can get our we can get our projectiles bouncing all across the screen. That is that is what we like to see. Okay, let's grab you. Nice. I need all these coins. Now, do we take more damage or more attack speed? I think I take more damage here. Find these gaps. See, this is where the attack speed is... Uh, the attack speed. Th this is where the movement speed is pretty nice. Just being able to find the little gaps. I mean, one more extra movement speed would be pretty good, I think. Just like the next level up on movement speed I would take. Okay, I'm going to take the extra critical damage. Let's take that to 42. I'd like to get it to 50%. I'd like to get it that every, like one in two of my projectiles does a crit damage. Because when they're bouncing, obviously we've got more projectiles out there, effectively. Because once they bounce, they're, um, they still have a, a chance of critting. So the fact that we got the bounce as well is pretty nice. Take you down. This is completely useless to us. We're ignoring this all day long skip you okay we're gonna make our way back over here because we want to get some of the coins let's get some of these and okay there's the extra movement speed that i was asking for okay all right, let's clear out some of these i mean piercing would be nice because the way the piercing and the bouncing works is it pierces and then bounces um i prefer piercing to bouncing personally i know some people prefer it the other way but Ooh, okay Mythics are starting to appear here. Reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 30. I, I mean, we're not going to go for either of these. This isn't the route that we're taking. So I'm actually just going to take this. Like, we could go the route of cooldowns, but I kind of just want to go the route of damage and attack speed because we've got the bouncing. So I want to play on that a little bit. Uh, I didn't. Um, I thought I was actually out the way of that. So let's go over here and pick up some of these hearts that we've got over here. There's one and two. Get ourselves back to full health. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Nice. Oh, so many coins. Okay. Well, there's the one piercing. I'm going to take the one piercing. So now we pierce through one and then we bounce, which is pretty nice. So we can clear the first enemy. And if we can get the damage up, basically it will take out the first enemy before... Okay, we might get another upgrade here. Get over here. Not quite. Pretty close. Dodge you. We can pierce through if we line it up. We lined it up. Nice. And now we need to line you up. We got it. Let's get over here. We just might just take you down. Okay. And we'll line you up. There we go. Good stuff. And we'll line you up. Pretty good. We're nearly there. Although, they keep spawning. Spawning way quicker than I'd hoped. But there we go. We get it done. And again, though, this is a chest. We can't take anything from this. We'll have to skip this. Feels bad to skip chests, honestly. But it is what it is. And now we stand still and we see how many we can clear. Not enough. <laughs> we don't clear enough quick enough. We need more damage. 
We need more damage. I mean, the crit's there, like 42, but we need more damage for the crit damage to kind of scale from. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to pass up more attack speed. I'm not going to pass up more attack speed. 5.7 attack speed's pretty nice. I think that's... Honestly, I think that's enough. Like, I think we just push damage from here. If we can find damage, I think we just push it. Oh, it's so sad that we're not going to be able to, like, pick up um, the little minion dude who can go around collecting all these coins for us. Because he's so handy. Clear these. Let's get in here. Nice. And, I mean, the damage is there. The extra health is there. I'm going to roll. Yeah, we'll take this. We'll take the extra crit damage. It doesn't really help us that much, though, because we need more damage for the extra crit damage to scale from. I am trying to take down this deputy, though, because if we can get rid of the deputy, then that's one thing out of the way. Um, obviously, the chest is... Comp we don't get the benefit of it, but... Just having you off the map is kind of useful. Okay, you're gone. Um, skip this. Grab all of these coins. Okay. The damage is pretty good. I'm going to roll again and see... Uh, no, actually, we'll, we'll take this again. We'll keep pushing the crit damage. Because it does 500. The crit damage does 500. Which is pretty nice. Now, if we can, if we can push just base damage... Then, then we should be looking pretty nice. Grab all of this. A lot of coins. Okay. The piercing and the bouncing is working pretty well. It's clearing It's clearing fairly well. I mean... God, we, how much until we go to the next level? There we go. Let's grab all of this coinage in here. Uh, we need damage. I'm going to roll and see if we hit better. Oh, we do. We take the extra damage here. The extra damage is massive. Now, we, now we're 750 on crit. That is big. And it's a chest. Oh, what beautiful things that we have to skip. Clear you, clear you. Dodge this, dodge this. That was close. <laughs> that was close. Dashing is sometimes so handy at getting out of a pickle. And by pickle, I mean a sticky situation. Okay, nice. Let's go around here. Let's grab all of this. Um, I want, I'm want. i going to just take the more damage. Honestly, I'm just going to push damage for now. The attack speed is good. The damage is good. Like, we're critting for 800 odd. Oh, I didn't see that. That was a, a little bit of a mistake. That is, again, my uh, my fuzzy brain just not, not reacting quick enough. Another level to this challenge, I tell you. Okay, take you down. Whoa. Right, you're gone. Let's grab this chest. Let's clear off the map. We have to skip it as always. You're gone. Now we can get to clearing out the just the general minions. We want these coins. Let's get as many of these as we possibly can. Okay, so close to the level up. There we go. We got it. Um, more crit chance, more health. I might take the more health, you know. Like, the more health is pretty nice. Considering we start off pretty low with Roger, it's pretty good to get just get a little extra buff. Okay, let's see what we can do. I mean, standing still here and actually clearing as many as these is pretty good, but they're going to start coming in now. Getting them in a group, though, because we because we pierce first and then we bounce, we do quite a good amount of damage in a group because it's bouncing when it's in the middle of the group because of the first pierce. So it should do a fair amount. Uh, that extra heart could be pretty good. Thank you. Clear these. Grab this. The one benefit of having Roger was that we've had just more opportunities or more options, should I say, when it comes to the upgrades. Like, I'm, that's for sure, that's helped us get the, uh, the two mythics that we've had available to us. I mean, we've only taken one because only one really goes with the build. But... Oh, there's another one, and it's so good for us as well. It's going to add an extra 250 to crit damage. We now do 1,100 crit damage. That is massive. The Mythics are coming in, and honestly, I think that's big because of Roger. 
Roger's coming in. Roger's ability is really helping out with this. Um, I mean, obviously, I didn't select Roger either, so... Thank you, game, for that selection. That is definitely helping. Let's go in here. Let's grab you. Okay, let's stay away from these. Crazy Denzel is going to be our next sheriff because of these moles that throw the dynamite, who, who are kind of annoying, you know? Like, the dynamite just means that we have to keep moving. Um, at least we just have to work a little harder for... For everything. Um, could do with some extra health here. We don't need any more bounces. Um, so I'm just going to take the damage. We just don't need any more. Don't need any more bounces. We're bouncing enough as it is. Unless we get the tumbleweed, which scales off of bounces, we just don't need any more. So although it's golden, um, we're going to pass up that golden. Okay. Incoming Sheriff here. We should have Crazy Denzel. There's Crazy Denzel. Um, who loves some dynamite. Let's try and stay clear of this as much as we possibly can. And fire. Okay, good damage. Really good damage. Half health already. Let's just watch this. Go over here. It's gonna trap me in the corner. Actually, no, we're good. We're good. And then as soon as Crazy Denzel pops up, now we just hit hard. We're doing some damage. We should be okay here. There we go. We got it done. Let's stand back so we don't get taken out. Clear the chest off the map. Can't use the chest. There are so many good things, including this. Like, bouncing off the edges as well. It's all gone, though. It is all gone. Okay, we clear these out. We could do with these coins. I don't leave any of these coins on the ground. We need every bit of an upgrade that we can get. There's got to be a level up here. There we go. Uh, sure. More. We're at 950% on crit. That is pretty nice. Good amount of damage that we're dealing. Like, if, 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 we, can, if we can crit, if we can increase the crit chance and we hit them for 1,300 every time, that pretty much one-shots most. In fact, I think it pretty much one-shots everything. Um, I'm not... I'm, I'm trying to watch to see if it, if there are any that actually survive the crit attack. Not many. Obviously, the deputies do, but not many do. But the crit do so many to the deputies. Look, it shredded that deputy. It is gone. Turns out objects just really aren't needed in the game to win. Because... At the moment, with I'm feeling pretty strong, and we've not taken a single object up until now. I, I mean, I guess I've got the black market to help me. But I'm also kind of hindered by the fact that I'm not too well. <laughs> okay, let's take you down. Clear these out, grab this, nice. We don't need any more dashes. You know what, we'll, we'll get that crit chance up to almost 50%. Okay, definitely needed to move quicker there. It's that fuzzy brain coming in again. Clear you. Oh, take the heart. Lovely stuff. You know, the, the crit could actually come in clutch at points as well because we, were, we got pretty close to some of the enemies there and the crit actually took them out before they could get to us, which is pretty nice. Okay, we should be able to take down this deputy if we can focus. Oh, where did you come from? And you. Oh, no. We're losing health when we really don't need to be losing health. Okay. Let's grab all the coins. Let's get over here. Let's see if we can find some health. Or just generate some health by clearing some of these. No more hits, please. Let's see if we can keep clearing. Let's get some hearts out there. You're gone. Lovely stuff. Wait a second. Some coins. We don't need... We, I mean, it's mythic. It's nice, but we just don't need it. I'll take the more damage, though. We just don't need the extra bounces. Grab this. Let's clear this off the map so I'm not teased by it. Um, you're a skip. 
And then let's get down here. Okay. Clear you, clear you. Lovely stuff. Okay, we just need to keep critting. Ah, oh, the movement speed there allowed me to find that gap. See, that's the one benefit of the movement speed, is just being able to find those gaps that you wouldn't normally be able to find. Grab this up here. Lovely stuff. Clear you, clear you. Okay, there's a good amount of coinage here. We're not far off the next level up. I'll be tempted to take some health if I see it, but... I don't know. I'm probably just going to take damage if I see it. That's sort of what I want to push. Okay, you're gone, which is pretty nice. Let's grab this. We we need to dash out of here. We're in the middle. Um, we're going to clear this and dash out. Ooh, uh, you know what? I am going to take the health. I am going to take the health. I want to make sure this gets over the line. So we will take it. That takes us to 10, and we can just work on trying to get this maxed out. Because if we can get this maxed out before The Undertaker, that'll be pretty good. Grab you. We're about halfway towards from, from night to day. So you can see along the top there, there's a moon and a sun. When you hit the sun, that's when you face your next sheriff. So we've gone through the night period. We're now working our way towards the sun, which is when we face against the sheriff. That is how it works. It took me so long to figure that out. In fact, I think someone actually mentioned it in the comments and let me know. Because for so long, I didn't even know when the sheriffs were going to appear. But it's a nice little tip so you can actually see how close you are to facing the next sheriff. Um, or in this case, facing the final boss. That is the Undertaker. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't think we can... I mean, we could take another bounce, but we're not going to need it. I Honestly, I think... I'm going to tip this over 50%. There we go. We're going to tip it over. It's 54% now. I uh, really want that heart. I don't know how to get it, though, without losing there we go we got it i'm gonna say without losing a heart and getting it or two hearts because this is an infamy 10 grab all of this coinage lovely stuff okay so we're uh, we might better get one more level up before we face the undertaker but i don't really want to lose any health in the meantime so i'm just going to play it safe we're not going to overly push on Oh, there's a lot of coinage down here, though. We're not going to push the upgrade. If we don't get it, we don't get it. Uh, we definitely don't need to push the deputy for the chest, which is what I would be doing right now. So if I was playing this and we needed the chest, I'd be pushing that deputy to try and get the chest um, before we face off against the sheriff. That's another one of the benefits of knowing when the sheriff is going to be, is that you know you, you can just kind of push the deputy. You know how much time you've got left. Um, but yeah, you can see we didn't quite get the upgrade, but 32 is fine. So now we just focus you. You come over here. Okay, I took a hit there. Completely didn't realize I took a hit there. I think I went to dash and it didn't dash. Do this. Keep hitting you. Okay, so we've got six health, which means we've got three hits. Um, so we'll do our best not to take any damage. We're going to keep the dashing just in case. So which way does the horse go from here? Okay, it goes over there. Now it's time to just try and shred you. Uh, we need to just be careful of these balls. Just don't want to get in the way. Okay, nice. Oh, what? I did not realize I was in the way there. Let's stand here. Okay, this is one of the things that I think needs to change about this boss. Is that you can stand here and you don't get hit. I think I've said it before. But just by standing here and not, not taking a hit just feels a little bit too easy okay nice okay so we got the undertaker down to half health but this is the bit that i do not enjoy i do not enjoy this bit and we could lose here can we get we need to probably get through one more round of horses i think we're okay here i think we're okay just gonna stand still no more horses we can't get hit. It's so close. We're so close to beating The Undertaker. But we've only got one health. And there it is. We get it done. The Undertaker is down. And we did it without taking a single object throughout the whole run. Uh, it turns out all you need is upgrades. Um, and even with, even with a fuzzy head from some illness, you can get it done. 
But hopefully you and guys enjoyed this one. I do apologize again for the croaky voice. I tried to keep it as enthusiastic as I really could. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.